The world watched with bated breath as Harry and Meghan S. departure from royal duties in 2020 sent shockwaves through the monarchy. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have since carved out a new life in California, embracing a path filled with media ventures and public declarations, often casting a critical eye back at the institution they once served. Their revelations have been met with both sympathy and scorn, further polarizing public opinion and adding fuel to the fire of a family already strained by internal conflict. Now, as Prince William steps into his increasingly prominent role within the royal family, he is confronted with a decision that will not only impact his relationship with his brother, but could also reshape the future of the monarchy itself. Will he extend an olive branch, offering a path to reconciliation and possibly reintegration? Or will he take a firmer stance, drawing a clear line that underscores the seriousness of their departure and the consequences of their actions? Sources close to the palace whisper of heated discussions and intense deliberations behind closed doors. The stakes are high, and the pressures are immense. On one hand, there is the call for unity, for mending familial bonds that have been frayed by public spectacle and private grievances. On the other, there is an undeniable need to protect the integrity of the monarchy, to ensure that its traditions and values are upheld in the face of modern scrutiny and relentless media coverage. Obviously, a problem that everyone notices is that Harry must divorce Meghan if he ever hopes to receive financial assistance, as his sham marriage stands in the way of any support. He will be completely cut off from the royal family and will never be able to return as a working royal. In fact, should have been made years ago, Harry is seriously mentally and emotionally unstable, with numerous learning disabilities, below average intelligence and serious behavioral disorders. <laughs> the royal family always managed Harry S. issues, which is why so much was covered up. Now, without their control, his true nature is revealed. Harry will always pose a significant risk to Prince William, Princess Catherine, and their children. He has threatened to harm others along with himself making it impossible to have him near working members of the royal family. The risk is too high, and nothing will change around Harry. He faces a major battle with his addictions to drugs and alcohol, and it is feared he will continually relapse. There is nothing more anyone can do but let him live his life quietly, far away from any public platforms. It is the only way to manage the situation and ensure the safety and stability of the royal family. Harry S. issues are too profound and the dangers too significant, to consider any other course of action. Clearly, in public, Harry is seen as a brother who has left the family business, and as such, is rarely mentioned. The rants Harry has about William and his family are considered personal issues and are not for public debate. Privately, I have no doubt that William holds some very strong views about the situation. These views are private to him and his trusted confidants, as the Prince of Wales. William has a job that involves numerous public interactions, and he is focused on fulfilling his duties. The antics of his brother are not something he comments on during his public duties. He keeps personal matters separate from his work. This is how I see Prince William dealing with Harry. Moreover, William has trained for royal life, functions, and formalities throughout his life. What he does not have is job experience and the wisdom, polish and international relationships that come with years of experience on the job. He is learning, but he has a way to go before he learns the easy grace and polish that other senior royals exemplify. He has considerable ability, and Princess Catherine is a huge asset by his side. In addition, I know Charles is a father, and like most parents, loves his children unconditionally. Sometimes, that love can enable or condone bad behavior. But Charles is hardly unique as a parent. From a strategic perspective, Charles S. in action deprives Harry and Meghan of something more to whine about. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan are exposed as hypocrites, pretending to support equality for all while clinging to the titles and privileged life based on birth alone. If Harry were sincere, he could follow Tony Benn's example and renounce his title, as well as his place and that of his issue in the line of succession. But time has also proven that regardless of King Charles S. love for his son, he has spent a lifetime dedicated to his parents' honor and upcoming duty as king. 
I think his silence follows his mama's example and he acts decisively when necessary. He has a plan. And I am sure he has enough of the foolishness and knows everything. In the meanwhile, that couple Harry and Meghan have proven to act foolishly and don't even know when to call it quits. They throw all their cushy lives aside and think they are smarter than everyone. Returning to the story of Harry and William, quietly and with dignity. I have no doubt Prince William is deeply hurt and betrayed by his younger brother, who had no problem selling their family out, exploiting their dead mother's memory, and recounting intimate conversations and events that were never for public consumption. I can even imagine how awful that must feel William is dealing with it privately because he has got more class than Harry. I think Harry will be lucky if William ever speaks to him again. He obviously can T-trust that anything they discuss will stay private. They are brothers. They had a bond that they shared with no one else but each other, and Harry broke that. The love between brothers and sisters in the family is one of the most sacred and precious relationships that each person can experience in life. Brothers are not only people who share the same bloodline, but also companions, a place of refuge and support for each other throughout life. The first and most important function of brotherly love is mutual support and protection. In difficult times, brothers are always ready to stand by, share the burden, and provide the necessary encouragement. They are the people who understand us best because they have gone through many different stages of life together, from childhood to adulthood. Second, brotherly love helps build the moral and personality foundation for each individual through sharing, debating, and learning from each other. Brothers can develop good life values such as honesty, patience, and love. The lessons from this relationship are often very profound and have a lasting impact, helping each person become more perfect. But after all, Harry lost that sacred thing easily and thoughtlessly. Of course, William will be king one day. He has acted with respectable dignity, while his younger brother is mentally inept and disrespectful to his family. Harry will reap, one way or another, the outcome of his behavior. Men from the lowest strata of society Dante even do this to their families. Have you ever heard of criminal men bashing their families to the extent of causing poor family relationships? Take Charles Manson or Ted Kaczynski, for example. These notorious criminals never blame their families in public for their problems. Ted Kaczynski, known as the Unabomber, was a genius with an IQ of 170. He was a Harvard and Berkeley professor who turned into a domestic terrorist. Honestly, I love Prince William not only because of his intelligence, but also because he has a warm heart. I remember seeing him wipe tears from his eyes after leaving the Sandringham Summit in his car when it was clear Harry would be leaving the family. It was like watching someone experiencing a bereavement. Since then, William has been completely stony, and at times you can sense the anger when he told a reporter that they were not a racist family. Quite a shocking comment to make in public, and I can imagine the late Queen would not have been happy with such an open display of his feelings. It would appear Harry is dead to William. He has moved on with his life, and I suspect things will get interesting for the Harkles once William becomes king, as he will not be the soft touch that Charles has been. Speaking from personal experience, sometimes detachment is necessary for self-preservation. Prince William has no doubt struggled with where his strongest allegiance lies with his wayward sibling or the kingdom that he will someday rule. It appears that by embracing his responsibilities as the future monarch, he has made the right decision. In my mind, Harry was stupid and damn. Harry was upset because their plans, which they made secretly, to buy up all the domain names they could, including the word royal, so that they could market goods such as cosmetics books clothing, etc., were discovered by the press. Harry knew the queen would be furious, but thought that once they had set it up, she would be unable to stop them. The queen was furious and realized that Harry was totally untrustworthy and unsuitable to represent the monarchy on any level, hence stopping his use of his royal highness and no royal duties at all. Harry was only upset because their secret plans were discovered and the plans to merchandise the monarchy and earn easy money were scuppered. Prince William has been a kind brother and fulfilled his responsibility by always giving Harry the best advice and things, including meeting and marrying Meghan. He suggested that Harry take things at a leisurely pace. The process of joining the royal family is not something that should be hurried through for any reason. 
because both William and Catherine needed to be certain that Catherine would be able to withstand the pressure of being publicly on view and of being obliged to undertake the various responsibilities of being a working royal. They remained together for a considerable amount of time before it was finally decided that they would get married. You have to appear happy and pleased to meet people, regardless of how you feel about yourself or even how you feel about the people the government has decided. You should meet and greet in international relations mean that they can end up meeting some real stinkers. Some of these are glamorous, but many of them are tedious. You have to look happy and pleased to meet people, because everything was done in such a hurry. No one had the opportunity to understand that Megan was not capable of playing that role. There is no way that she could have done it. Now, Prince William sees Harry and Meghan S. Royal return as a major privacy threat. Prince William has voiced serious concerns regarding the potential return of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to the royal family, labeling the couple as a significant threat to the monarchy's privacy. William S. apprehensions stem from the duo S. history of leaking private information about senior royal figures. Speaking with Sky News Australia, Royal commentator Esther Crackway noted that the Prince of Wales is stepping into a more decisive role, akin to that of his grandfather, Prince Philip, in determining royal event participation. What Harry is experiencing now is precisely the karmic retribution and consequences of his own actions, and he must go through it. After making numerous controversial decisions and actions, Harry has put himself in a difficult situation, and these consequences are unavoidable. From leaving the royal family to publicly criticizing his family in interviews and books, Harry chose a risky and adventurous path. He has hurt loved ones, broken important relationships, and caused significant public disappointment. These decisions have not only affected his image, but also deeply impacted those around him. Now, facing criticism and lacking support from both his family and the public, Harry is paying the price for his actions. This is the karmic retribution he created for himself. The current difficulties and challenges are costly lessons for him, forcing him to reflect on his actions and understand the consequences of his impulsive decisions. Harry must go through this phase to realize the true value of family and the relationships around him. This is an opportunity for him to learn, grow, and hopefully find ways to rectify past mistakes. However, this process will not be easy and will require patience, effort, and genuine change from Harry himself. Harry has ruined his image and honor through irresponsible and selfish actions. If his mother, Princess Diana, knew how vile and treacherous he had become, she would undoubtedly be deeply saddened and disappointed. Harry has betrayed the values that Diana cherished and passed down. Princess Diana is always remembered for her compassion, dedication, and unconditional love for her family and the public. In stark contrast to his mother, Harry has chosen a path of slander and criticism causing pain to those who once loved and supported him. Additionally, Harry has shown irresponsibility in caring for and raising his children. By choosing to leave the royal family and subjecting his family to a life full of controversy and turmoil, he has placed personal interests above the stability and happiness of his children. Children growing up in an environment filled with conflict and criticism cannot develop fully and healthily. Moreover, Harry s constant appearances in the media to lament and disparage his family not only damage the royal family s honor, but also erode public respect. Instead of keeping private matters confidential and resolving them within the family, he chose to publicize everything, causing unnecessary chaos and uproar. Finally, Harry has squandered the opportunities and privileges he inherited from the royal family. Instead of using these resources to do good and create positive change in society, he has abused them for personal gain and self-promotion campaigns. If Princess Diana were alive to witness these actions, she would undoubtedly be heartbroken and disappointed in the son she once loved and had high hopes for. Harry has not only damaged his own honor, but also the noble values his mother left behind. Well, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching our video. And I want to know what you think about these issues. Please express your opinion in the comments below. Hope you will always be cheerful and happy. Don T. Forget to support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.